Now we have seen the events, the sample space, but that is not actually probability. Probability will be a number. So how will you find out the probability? Very very simple. I'm not going into the definitions. I'm simply telling you the Na upon Ns, whatever event you have, just divide by elements of sample space and you will get the probability of event A. If you define it, that if A, if you define it, uh, the probability of event A of a finite sample space S is written as PA and is defined as number of sample point and is defined as and is defined as number of elements in event divided by number of event in the sample space okay so just remember whenever you want to find out the probability that will be any upon n s okay and this number will always be less than zero because probability one is the hundred percent right that means uh, if i say that one coin is tossed the sample space is h and t and if i say event h uh, and if I say and if I say even A is either heads or tails then my probability is 100% that is 1 because either head will come or tail will come ok so that probability always lies between 0 to 1 or if I say that head tails both will come in that case the probability is 0 because either head or tail will come in random experiment and in possible way it is possible that coin will have heads and tail both that means the coil will stand vertically upward but generally this case will not happen this will not happen we are taking into consideration the possible experiment okay so just remember this now let us see what will be the there are three rules of probability or the properties of probability what we have to learn Okay, let us see the properties of probability. Three properties of probability are given. I am not going to show you the proof of it. The proof of it is given on page number 88 on your book. Very simple. The proof is not required here. I am just showing you the properties. You should go through the book for the proof. The first is says that the probability of an impossible event is 0 and probability of a certain event is 1. That is, first rule says that probability of impossible event is 0 and probability of event which is equal to sample space is equal to 1. This is the first property of the probability. The second test is that second property is the probability always lie probability of an event always lie The probability of an event always lies between 0 and 1. Both are inclusive. I told you that. If it's a null set or it's a null event, then it will be 0. If the event is equivalent to your sample space, then it will be equal to 1. But generally, if it is not equal to sample space, the probability generally lies between 0 and 1. And the third rule is, if there are complementary events, that means probability of A complement is equal to 1 minus probability of A. This is the third property. Very simple. If the full sample space is there, okay, the probability is 1. And we know that elements in A and complement of A are totally different. Right? Whatever elements are not in A are all there in 
complement of A. So probability of this is full probability that is probability of sample space minus probability of A. So these are the three rules which we have to follow in examples. Okay. So I think uh, very simple. Finding out the probability is very simple. The first part of the uh, problems we have already seen in the 4.1. Now we have to find the probability, so that will be the next part and generally that will be asked in the exam or even the first part is asked in the exam. Examples are very simple. So to find out the probability of an event is very easy. So before moving to 4.2, let us solve some examples, okay. The first example is, so the first part I am not going to do, okay. I am going to just explain this and you have to solve this, okay. The first example is, a coin is tossed, find the probability of events getting held, getting dead. If the coin is tossed, what will be your S, H and T and even A is getting held is N A equal to 1 and B getting tell N B equal to 1. So what will be the probability of? P A is equal to N A upon N S. Here N S is 2. So we have 1 upon 2. Also probability of B is N B upon N S that is equal to 1 upon 2. And you can write 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Very simple. Absolutely simple examples. Let us see one more example. Now I tell you one thing. You practice of writing the sample space of two coins, three coins, two dice. After that uh, some two balls, three balls. You should have practice of writing this. Because at the time of exam you should not uh, calculate there and there itself. Okay. You should not remember. You should not buy heart. But you should have practice of writing this sample space. Whenever the sample space is big, you should have practice. Okay. Let's see the second example. Three coins are tossed simultaneously. Find the probability of following events. Now, three coins are tossed. Let us write the sample space H, 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 T, H, T, H, then T, T, T. T T H T H T then T H H and H T T. This is the sample space. We have N S is equal to eight. Now, first event is getting exactly two heads. Let us find out uh, P A. Probability of getting exactly two heads. What will be the NA? One, two, three. So N is equal to three and this is eight. So the answer is three upon eight. Second is getting at least two heads. That means three heads are also possible. P, B, at least two heads means one, two, three. 4. So that is 4 upon 8, that is 1 upon 2. The third is getting no head. PC is getting no head. There is no head, only 1. So probability is 1 upon 8. And fourth one is getting at the most 2 tails. At the most 2 tails means no tails to 2 tails. So PD is at the most two tails, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven upon eight. That's all. We have found out the probability. But remember one thing: whenever they are given some event, you should not write down directly like this. Okay? I have not written what is PA. You have to write what is PA. You you have to write first event. First write down A is equal to 
write the events then find out na is equal to okay and then write down this formula pa a is equal to na upon ns and then solve it i have just skipped these steps but you have to write this step these steps are must otherwise you will not get mark i know that this is very simple but they are watching out for steps so there can be similar examples like we already saw in 4.1 or before that just like a die is thrown find the probability of the event die is thrown that means your sample space would be 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 they are asked getting a number less than 3 that means 1 and 2 so probability is 2 by 6 second is getting a number divisible by 2 that is 2 4 and 6 so the probability is 3 by 6 Third is a getting a prime number. The getting a prime number means two, three, five. Again, three by six. So these kind of simple examples are there. Then uh, there can be two dice thrown at a time, and they are asked the sum of the number on uh, their upper faces is at least ten. We already saw such examples. The sum of the number is less than ten, greater than ten, multiple of five, multiple of two, and so on. So there is very simple examples. We will see one more example. There are fifteen tickets bearing the numbers from one to fifteen in a bag. If you remember, we already solved uh, numbers one to fifty in a bag. Okay, and one ticket is drawn at a random. Now there are one to fifteen numbers, so N S is fifteen. The one ticket is drawn at a random, and the number is even number. One to fifteen means two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14. We can find out the probability divided by 15. Then second, they are asked where the numbers which is multiples of 5. Then again, 5, 10, 15. So this first part we already solved. The second part is nothing. Just you have to do a n upon n s. That's all. Okay. Let us solve one more example. What is the probability of Two digit odd number form from the digit two three five seven nine two three five seven nine. Now, first of all, as a sample space, we have to find out all the two digit number without repetition. Those can be formed. That is twenty three, twenty five, twenty seven, twenty nine, thirty two, thirty five, thirty seven, thirty nine, fifty two, fifty three, fifty five, fifty nine, seventy two, seventy three, seventy five, seventy nine. And ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-five, ninety-seven. This is the sample space. Then odd numbers. Find out the odd numbers, and then they are asked the two-digit number form multiple of five. To find out the which numbers, how many numbers are in multiple of five. So first of all, you have to write the sample space, and then you have to write two events and find the probability. I am not going to solve this example. Because it is very simple, such example we have already solved while solving 4.1 or uh, before this, before it in the solved examples. So let us see one more example. Now this example, this kind of example we are not seeing yet. This is a playing card example. Now you know that again I am reminding you in playing cards there are total 52 cards. There are two to ten of each type. Two to ten plus jack, queen, king, and ace. Ace is not a face card. Whenever they were asking for the face card, face cards are only jack, queen, and king. Okay. In playing card pack, there are four types of cards: club, diamond, heart, and spade. Spade and club are black. Diamond and heart are Well, okay. Now let us see. If a card is drawn from the pack of fifty-two playing cards, then find the probability of getting red card. Now, I am not going to write the complete else, but I know what is NS is. NS is fifty-two. Now A is the event of red card. Now there are twenty-six red cards are there. Okay, so here N A is Twenty six. So your P A is equal to twenty six upon fifty two. 
that is one upon two. A face card. Now, how many face cards are there? Three face cards of each type. That means twelve face cards. So, face card. So, N B is equal to twelve. So, P B is equal to twelve upon fifty two. It is three by thirteen. Okay, so such kind of examples are asked on the playing cards. The third event is king. How many kings are there? Only four kings are there. So NC is equal to four. So PC is equal to four by fifty-two. Very simple. Then they are asked an S. How many S's are there? Four S's. So the probability is again. 4 by 52. So these are very simple examples. Only thing you have to remember what is the sample space and then what is the event from the sample space. Don't forget about this. Now I think we should go for exercise 4.2. Thank you. So friends, we have learned this topic thoroughly. We have solved some examples for practice. But we are going to solve all the exercises which are given in the book along with the problem set, then the hots, some paper solutions, everything we are going to solve. For further solution of exercises and problem set, please purchase our DVD. You can buy our DVD online by visiting our websites. The address for the websites or the place where you can buy your DVDs are given just below this video in the description. Thank you very much.